Man, we better take care of business this Sunday. I'll tell you that. Yo, ho, ho, Dom Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Dom Mafia Report. And let me tell you what, it feels damn good to be 6-1 and one going into week 9 of the NFL season. And we just so happen to stumble across, yet again, the New Jersey Jets. Okay, and as always, this is my preview video today. We are going to dissect exactly what I think the Buffalo Bills offense needs to do against the New York Jets defense and what the Buffalo Bills defense needs to do against the New York Jets offense to come out on top. Very similar structure. You guys already know the deal. Right before we dive into that, though, I do want to give a giant shout out to today's sponsor. And that just so happens to be Prize Picks. Prize Picks is legitimately the number one player prop bet platform on the entire internet. If you were to ask me, what you can do is you can pick up to two to five players and bet on whether or not that they are going to perform better or worse than the projected stats that prize picks outlines. Now, trust me, if you know what you're talking about, this is easy money. And the best thing about it is, is that prize picks is hooking the Don Mafia up. Simply all you need to do is download the app and enter in the code Don Mafia, and they will match your initial deposit 100% all the way up to $100. So literally free money can turn into easy money. So definitely recommend downloading that app. Secondary announcement with Prize Picks as well, they're running a contest this week, right? This is for everybody that watches the AFC East Roundtable. What we want you to do is we want you to pick out a four player parlay, a single player from each and every single team, submit that parlay, screenshot it, and then post it on Twitter with the hashtag AFC East prize picks and then prize picks is going to randomly select somebody that actually has a good slip that ends up winning and so then prize picks is going to hand select a random winner and they're going to give you a giant credit for even more free money so whatever you're doing stop this video right now and download prize picks so yeah dom mafia the new york jets right there's no question that this team ended up starting off i would say relatively hot I did say at the beginning of the season that I expected them to improve. I love the youth that they brought in, specifically on the defensive side of things. Love the Sala move a few years back. Um, he's just a very strong-minded defensive coach. Their offense had a bunch of weapons. So I was expecting them to take a jump, but if you were to tell me going into Week 9 that the Jets were in second place in the AFC East, I would have called you insane. But they've really quieted a lot of doubters now don't get me wrong last week's game was an entire different story literally had to do with Zach Wilson and Zach Wilson only but this team right here um, is definitely taking the right step in the right direction however they are still in the Buffalo Bills shadow significantly starting off with their offense we need to talk about Zach Wilson second year quarterback he's coming off of an injury in the preseason not sure if this was related to him banging a bunch of moms or if he actually did end up messing his ankle up but he was out for a considerable amount of time he came back four and one since he has been a starter for the team his last loss coming against the New England Patriots now the problem with Zach Wilson and just about every single analyst and this is even Jets analysts say this as well he holds on to the ball so damn long, right? It's an average of like 3.19 seconds. When you see that specific stat, which is not good, not good at all. His protection is a little weak on the right side of the offensive line, but <laughs> when you're holding on to the ball that long, that tells me that you're having a very, very, very hard time going through your progressions as a quarterback, and it has significantly shown. Right now, he's throwing for a 54% completion rate, and then say, for example, that this man experiences any type of pressure whatsoever, his, I'm pretty sure his completion percentage goes down into, like, into the high 40s or low 50s. He definitely has had a massive issue as far as ball security, as far as not progressing through his reads, and... It's certainly shown. Several Jets fans that I talk to, their biggest complaint is, is that 
he's the definition of insanity. He just continuously makes the same mistake, the same mistake, the same mistake, and does not improve from that whatsoever. He's been struggling so far, and honestly, I would have to hand the success to the New York Jets exclusively to their defense and then just some of the playmakers that they have on this team. Literally, their offense is stacked, stacked with playmakers, right? So Uzuma, the tight end, has been a great pickup for him. So obviously, you have Garrett Wilson, uh, who is a top 10 pick right in the draft class. He's like sort of hot and cold. He's like a boomer bust. Like he absolutely just balls out. And then sometimes he's completely quiet. And so then, of course, you have Elijah Moore. And although that he did request a trade, they just told him to f*** off. It's not going to happen. Very good playmaker. Michael Carter. They did have Brees Hall. He's out for the season. So he has amazing playmakers that can actually produce. The issue is, is, is that Zach Wilson is still very young. He's a second-year quarterback that needs a little bit more maturing to do so he can take full advantage of the youth and talent that he has around him. So when it comes down into the Buffalo Bills defense right against Zach Wilson and the New York Jets offense, literally the number one key to this is literally just get in his face. And so because number one, you got to understand that he, he holds onto the ball forever, right? There's a lot of weaknesses, especially when it comes down into the right side of the offensive line get pressure on each and every single aspect of that line by itself, especially Ed Oliver and Jordan Phillips, settle, get in his face because the guy literally has a very difficult time going through his progressions. It's something that I think is going to be a huge factor for the Buffalo Bills defense, and it's going to be nice as well because right now we're obviously hurting pretty significantly when it comes down into the secondary. I mean, obviously, Poyer is not going to play. I mean, yes, we do have Dean Marlowe coming back, but he has not been with us for a couple of months now since we ended up letting him go. He's familiar with it. But at the end of the day, I think that our front seven will be able to easily handle it by making sure that we just pressure the hell out of Zach Wilson and make him make mistakes, which he has been. He's been making a lot of mistakes, a lot of dumb decisions. And so I think he has a lot of promise, but this year is just so far has, has not impressed me. So then it comes down into an entire different animal, an entire different animal, and that is the New York Jets defense, okay? Now, one thing I want to point out, and one thing that I do want to give the Jets credit for is that their defense is absolutely disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. And by disgusting, I mean very talented, very young, and there's very, very, very few holes on this entire unit. When you talk about, first off, right up front on their defensive line, absolute monsters absolute monsters they're third in the league for overall pressure on a quarterback they're second in the league for rush yards allowed and they are just an absolute tear with Quinn Williams is having an absolute hell of a damn season I have no idea why the Buffalo Bills schedule has just had us face like top 10 defensive tackles it seems like almost every single week thus far but he's definitely up there in the conversation he's breaking out and he's being exactly who the Jets wanted him to to be same with Carl Lawson who is finally healthy and then everyone else on that defensive line is just absolute studs now I do know that our offensive line has improved a bit but I think that so our offensive line is going to have its work cut out for them as well expect Josh Allen and so to be moving around the pocket quite a bit scrambling on the outside to buy a little bit of time because I fully anticipate that he's going to be running for his life I'm just saying that as a hot take the secondary really isn't much better especially from our perspective right you have sauce gardner number one has not given up a touchdown and has been an absolute stud if he does not win defensive rookie of the year i will be absolutely shell-shocked this guy has stood up with the best of them i do know that dude man right before he got drafted he said or of some version or the other that guarding stefan diggs was going to be easy Right? So I really hope that Diggs has that on his like bulletin board right now and he's just ready to absolute, like absolutely roast him. Uh, but I think that that's going to be a matchup that I am going to be looking at tremendously. And so then you have DJ Reed on the opposite side. That's a cornerback who is also absolutely amazing. Like we may be looking right now at like a top three duo when it comes into like the whole corner position in the entire league. Right. In fact, I would probably have to go out and say that this is the best corner duo out there. So the matchups are going to be very interesting between Diggs and Sauce Gardner and then Reed and Gabe Davis or whoever decides to actually 
um, sort of go ahead and line up on the outside. So the way that the Buffalo Bills need to attack this, we're going to have to pass the ball and to be efficient right against this Jets defense, right? Um, we cannot turn the ball over. The Buffalo Bills right now, I'm pretty sure I read a stat the other day that like we turn the ball over 16% of every single possession. That's not good. That is not good whatsoever. It's just that like we're like boom or bust, right? Um, we'll be up on a team, you know, 14 to 21 points and then we decide to make these turnovers but this is the sort of defense that generates those we need to make the most out of our opportunities at this point and make sure that our defense does not get gassed right i don't believe that it's going to happen because the jets offense led by zach wilson is just so mundane that i don't see them being out there very often but we need to take advantage of these opportunities running the football against this team i mean they're the second best in the entire league second right to the 49ers so although that i've loved the progress i've seen from devin singletary um it's going to be very hard i think for him to continue that success i would love to be wrong but i just don't foresee us attacking them this way i think that josh allen needs to be oprah out there and literally spread the ball out as much as humanly possible because these dbs that are going up against our receivers are very talented right one thing somebody ended up saying in one of my live chats, I believe it was New York Jets, Florida. Um, and so let me know in the comments, say that I'm wrong. But he said that they actually have a very difficult time guarding tight ends. So perhaps this is a Dawson Knox game. It speaks to just the fact that like their whole linebacker situation is a bit of a weakness. And for the most part, really what I'm expecting out of this Buffalo Bills offense is legitimately spread the ball out in the passing game as much as possible take advantage of these opportunities and just don't zero in on Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis. Start getting other people involved. If Hines is going to be out there, see if you can line him up out of the slot. Like, and so open up the playbook. Let's get sexy out there, Dorsey. Let's figure out what we have to offer against a very good defense, in my opinion. So this game right here, um, I think it's going to be closer than a lot of people think it's going to be. Um, this is just a divisional matchup, right? Like teams are built to beat the other teams in their division. And it just speaks volumes if you look at their defense and our offense. It's just, and so they have an answer for a lot. But final score prediction, I'm going to have to go 28 to 14. And so I still see the Buffalo Bills winning by two scores. So no disrespect right to the New York Jets defense, but I just don't trust the Zach Wilson-led Jets offense for them to be able to have long, sustained drives against us. I have a feeling that we're really going to start taking off and finding these gaps once the Jets defense gets absolutely gassed from being on the field so long. I almost guarantee you that the Buffalo Bills are about to dominate time of possession. And we're going to have to see how it all kind of plays out. But 28-14, do me a favor, leave a comment with your final score prediction. I always love uh, sort of hearing from you and then also making comparisons after the game concludes. And Sunday, as a reminder, I am going to be live streaming my reaction to Bills and Jets live play-by-play. I always love when you guys end up joining me for that. So tune in, subscribe to this channel, hit those bell notifications so you know when I upload. So many of you are like, Dan, like, where have you been? I'm like, bro, like, I've been uploading for the past three weeks. What are you talking about? Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Smash the f out of that like button. And before I let you go, you better always remember, let's go Buffalo.